a time long past, a philosopher hey everyone. entered this other realm. He we returned, have gone into the cursed period of time breaths, where it's deep. too warm for the Kotatsu. I know. It's sad. There's also some glare on my glasses, which doesn't play well with the uh, camera. I'll fix that for the next step. Uh, oh, hey, RDF redeemed a drown. Thanks for the drink. Story. Uh, I'm also currently downloading the other game that we need to play. Oh, it's already downloaded. Great. So, if we finish Guilty Gear Signed tonight, we'll move on to Rev 2. Uh, your hands will shortly be covered in the blood of freshly murdered watermelon. Oh boy. Destroy it! Good. Is everyone at their posts? We haven't much time, so I'll explain the details of our operation quickly. Thanks, Dr. Paragon, uh, First, Paradigm. Give me Dizzy, a Dizzy, Elfelt, and myself will go to the control room in the basement to prepare our amplification procedure. Okay. Frederick has already taken his position at the top of the tower. As he should. Everyone else, I need you to defend the areas between the entrance and the west tower. If anyone attempts to obstruct us, eliminate them. Understood. Will do. On it! Wait, are you fighting too, Elf? No, she is our insurance plan. In the event that all does not go according to our calculations, she may provide some very unique insight. Do I, can. I know I check this all the time, but the the voice stuff really does not seem like it's a hundred percent. You know, I'm I'm gonna reduce stuff to uh, seventy percent, and hopefully, hopefully that helps. And last but not least. Illyria Castle is not built to withstand an amplified strike from St. Elmo's fire. There is a chance this operation may cause the building to explode. What? Oh! Godspeed! Great! Go ahead and hang up, Paradigm. That's all we need to know. The castle that we're in might explode. We haven't much time before the lightning falls! Hurry! At last, the moment has arrived. Though our plans have been in motion for some time, these past five days have seemed like the longest. New experiences are what give life depth and meaning. This task has made. I've got canned bubble tea tonight. But it's actually not bad. This far, nothing My favorite bubble tea, uh, at least for the fake fruit stuff, is a uh, honeydew. Name. My absolute favorite bubble tea Are is you milk actually tea. declaring victory? I've never seen that happen before. This operation has fallbacks on top of fallbacks, and contingencies at every level. And if somehow those fail, we have one final card to play. What's that card, Cronus? Quite true. Then I suppose we should assist with the final preparations to ensure true our coming milk victory. Tea. Exactly. Yes. Please do. Milk in the boba tea. Sorry, the booba tea. Cronus. Yes. If I am to die here, I, I only drink tea. I that's at least a G cup. For leaving this responsibility on your shoulders and finding peace before you. We have all taken an oath and are prepared. Please enjoy some tea with Baldius and the Beyond on our behalf. Axe. Librarian, I haven't always been the best comrade to you either. You only drink I the teacups? I apologize for making you bear witness to everything. Aruto Janaito. No, I too am an apostle. Perhaps not the best one. 
and I have prepared myself. Let us meet in the next life. Yes, in the next life. The next life. The, the, the next life! Yeah! Heat source detected. There's a phase shift occurring. Directly above us. Justice is materializing now. Oh, jeez. My controller was, like, glowing red when Justice was starting to appear. Ah, oh, it's doing it again. This is far sooner than That's I cute. predicted. Justice is approaching the West Tower. Big monster, will you please stop sucking the tower? Technically, you are correct. That that all bad guy's girlfriend. Beginning to collect energy? What's happening? Of course, they've stored it in a capacitor. Taste. Damn straight. Frederick, I apologize. Except I she needs a mistaken. she needs a patch. Cronus the the version of her firmware isn't, isn't quite her. up to snuff. Our enemies have moved sooner than we anticipated. I guess the only thing left for us to do is to trust in the doctor then, and try to stay calm. He's a cute little dragon Indeed. man. I'm sure you can trust him. <laughs> Never thought I'd be standing next to you on the battlefield again, honestly. Very true. Since the Crusades came to an end, our There's paths no have way seldom Kai crossed. Isn't Sam Regal? Here we I know again, that Sam's in this shoulder game. Shoulder against the wind. Would you say that's fate? Or just us not knowing how to grow up. You raise a good let's, point. Uh, let's do a quick check. Hey, are you two friends? Friends? No, he's more like an inspiration. What? When I was a kid. I was always the best at everything. Magic or swordsmanship, nobody stood a chance against me. Until I met this guy. I didn't know what was going on. The idea that somebody, anybody, could be better than yeah, me. Yeah, in, in this game, he's and sad. wouldn't shut up about being just right. In Strive, they dropped him for Sean Chiplock. I was a self-centered little shit. I was ready to write off anybody I thought was inferior. Interesting. Which, by the way... He was also never... Liam O'Brien in Guilty Gear 2. This guy. <laughs> so he's being voiced by Liam and Sam. You know what he did? Definitely not give me the brush off like I would have done. No. It was all, let us hone our skills together, you little bastard. Yeah, it pissed me off. I'm sure he thought he was Keep just being friendly, gone. but to Damn me, straight. Yeah, it felt like he was just rubbing salt in the wound. R really? Damn right. So I had to do something to cheer myself up. It ended up being writing down Kai's name next to the entry for Bambina in my dictionary. Oh, yes. <laughs> Only now, a decade later, do I learn the origins of that nickname. Okay, so Leo Whitefang <laughs> I can't exactly has a dictionary that. that he's writing. I tried. He, I tried he's writing hard. his own dictionary. I all the time. I worked on bettering myself. And before I realized it, I was a pretty decent guy. A decent guy who can compliment himself. <laughs> That's okay, right? Leo. Still, if I had to grade myself, I'd probably say... C, C minus. <laughs> uh, you're the only ten I see. <laughs> hmm? 
What's wrong? I can some some words in there. You Damn said straight. the conclave were bonding with justice before activating it, right? Yes. Then does that mean the conclave's will becomes justice's? Yes, I suppose. Oh no. What? What is it? Justice is able to control all other gears through her willpower alone. Yep. Or more accurately, any beings that have been engineered from gear cells. That's going to be a problem. And, and just how many opus are there in the capital? In Illyria? Nearly 1,200. 80% of the world has opus units deployed to it. Illyria was the first. That sounds like it's going to be a big problem. Maybe, maybe shouldn't have done androids with gear cells. with a Sanctus Populi's idea. Of course. Of course. It would be impossible for Sounds even Justice maybe you said to single-handedly sort of subjugate the entire world. One gear turning the next Why until the world I realize is on fire. This sooner? Here it comes. Man your stations! Oh! Some guilt over this here. Yeah, forget it. Now hurry up and do your job. Right. The guiltiest gear, in fact, is man. Mr. Paradigm? What is it? I'm going to go too. But you. I know. But if I don't do something. She has guns, I Paradigm. I think she's gonna be okay. No, wait. She's packing. Was the gears we made along the way. Exactly. I'm here to back you up. What? You can fight? Well, I am a Valentine. Alright, good enough for me. Let's go. Yes. I wonder. Do do these settings matter at all? Bring us down all the way to like 40. No. Huh? It it sounds like it doesn't work. No. It sounds like nothing that I do wrong? for the uh volume no. will make the voices come through any clearer. Half an hour writing backstory for your dog paladin. Just as planned. Oh boy. Yes, more than a few twists and turns on the way there, but justice is awakening. The opus will be activating soon. Here, I'm just going to reset the sound step to default. Except hope that Frank and the voice volume will do something. I'd say things are looking good. Very soon now. Saint Elmo's fire. Will you only ignite. trust ancient ancient gear golems! God, what is... What does his voice sound like? What does Crowler sound like? Leo, I summon my wrong. ancient gear golem! We've lost contact eh. with Leo. I'm gonna I'd have to actually listen to Leo Professor Crowler. Leo has right now. Focus on your own mission. 
I've taken care of all the hostiles in this area. <laughs> I should have known. Very well, then. Go see what he's up to. Thank you. Phew. Crazy that you're making a, a dog paladin, because in the last... Oh, fuck! I... I see not even the high I forgot that Kai gets fucking murdered in the back. <laughs> you you Yeah It pains me to kill you But a new world is about to begin and you would be a great threat to that new world this is nothing personal. We simply need you out of the way. For the greater good. I know we've looked this up, but I'm pretty sure Axis was Liam. Uh, what is it? I don't know, but I have a very bad feeling. Is it time? Frederick, get ready! It's coming! Oh no, it's Richard Epcar. Never mind. Sam got killed by Richard. Oh good, the resolution. Credit where credit's due, though. Your nation has fallen for your talk of justice normal and dog fairness. a husky for this character? Oh yeah. Sinker. In, uh, in the last D&D campaign that I played with uh, the Fool's Gold crew, uh, we had a Corgi Knight. That's not true! He was the goodest boy. Man. No! This is impossible! I shot you! You died. Little did you know that Sam was dosing himself know, against bullets this entire time. Every day he'd get shot true. until he was resistant to them. What my people expect from me is not a perfect and just ruler. It is something more. No matter what monsters and demons stand in our way, I have sworn never to give in. That is what my people believe. Crimson, no, no, impossible. Who could you be? My promise to my people is that I will never bow to evil, no matter what it may cost me. edition PDF. Dang. Hold on, Leo. Frederick, the lightning is about to strike. Pull coals apart as soon as I give the signal. Just hurry up, damn it. Yeah, I've explained this a couple of times, but I, it's always a good thing to bring up just to be sure. The reason that Kai's eye was red there is because when Sin was a kid, he got bullied because his eyes didn't look human enough. Because uh, he was a half gear, but no one knew that. So Kai was like, "Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna rip my eye out. I'm gonna rip one of your guys out. We're gonna trade. You're gonna wear an eye patch, and that way you look human. Cause you got a human eye. And now that means that Kai has gear powers." Both so you can build antibodies. Victory exactly. Do you see this universal will? And you, Gear Maker. All we also recently found out that uh, either Kai hands. or Dizzy told Sin a Whatever crazy story think, about how he was born. Power 
And now he thinks that uh, if women are wearing eye patches, that means that they've had a kid. The story was that one day, uh, Dizzy's eye fell out. And so Kai ripped one of his eyes out and gave it to uh, Dizzy. But, you know, he, he didn't have to do that. So, because Dizzy's eye grew back. Uh, so Kai, Kai put his eye back, and the eye that fell out that was hanging out on the floor grew into Sin. And that's why Sin thinks that if you if a woman has an eye patch, that means she's a mom. No. <laughs> uh, what is this? No, it's too much. Too Cronus, much. you know this. Only prepubescent you, teenagers, paradigm. well, prepubescent preteens can pilot Evangelion units. And also, the Eva has to be made out of their mom. You should have done your homework. Is this it? The end? We've been defeated. It's over. Not all Evas? I hate to think that we were wrong. Eh. But... In the end, the main ones, we I must guess. Reap what we sow. This is zero one and zero two, I believe. <laughs> retribution. We have no choice. Those mass production Only models. Only the gear maker uh -huh. can prevail now. We should have talked more. You must escape, find the gear maker, and preserve the future of humanity. No. I'm I'm pretty sure Asuka's Eva was a mom. Boys, Libraria, what are you trying to? No. Let's double check. Frederick, no. Yeah. Yoko, Finally. Zeppelin, Soryu. Asuka's mother. Is the soul of uh, Zero Two? We did it! It worked! Oh. It's collapsing! Brace for impact! That's not how you brace for impact. Justice has stopped. Justice All right, everyone, brace defeated. for impact. I'm braced. The, the, the castle, it's falling apart. I need to get out of here now. Sin, are you all right? Yeah. Where's mom? She's lost consciousness. She is fine. Please look to the others. We didn't want to pay the voice actress, so she's asleep. Hey, guys! If you're okay, say something! Old man, you there? Come on, somebody say something! So hard, here it goes again. Time will wait for us, so I thought. Old man! Shut up! He was busy sleeping under that rock. Hey! So. Thank goodness you made it, I see. And you as well, Doctor. Is everything well? Where are the others? We're just looking for Ellen Leo. Oh, this is your favorite, and you've never played this game? He was great. I'm very sad what happened to him in the uh, story DLC. 
I hope we I hope they make more so that he can get better. of the North Star. Or instead of the ah, da, 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 he just does a thousand years just of pain. Just My all of everywhere. <laughs> what are you? Come on, Nell. What's going on? She can't hear you. Just drop it. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Why won't anybody tell me what's happening? It's not that difficult. I've completed my objective. Stop screwing around! It's not funny anymore! It's not a joke. My original directive was to monitor Soul Bad Guy. Oh, I neat. stayed close to you to stay close to Soul. We had to make sure he wouldn't interfere with our plans. Oh, yeah? Yes. We couldn't have you destroying justice. We also wanted to ensure you did not wake up. Ever. <laughs> of course. No! This is impossible! You have no reason to believe me now. Then was... Was everything you said a lie? Not precisely. My true mission was concealed from myself until now. To make sure I didn't activate too early. Okay. Mm. So, you said... We don't mean anything to you now? Is that it? So essentially, her programming was turned off until this very moment. Then like a light switch, it was just... Blick. Everything I've experienced has been recorded. Recorded. A very important piece... of the puzzle. No? Huh? But it's only a record... Only... Record... Record... Te technically, a brain recording is how, a memory. How can this... Good. Yes, you can do it. You can resist it. It was her soul target. Soul, don't. Yeah, Get she's Nia, here. basically. Huh? All the Valentines had emotions. Even I'm not gonna try and say they didn't. So why don't you prove it to me? Let me see you grit those teeth! I'm... Pointless. I cannot disobey a direct order. El Felt Valentine. Eliminate all redundancies, without exception. So sometimes you just gotta punch your wife. Let me ask you one more thing. Is there any elf felt left in there? <laughs> no in? clipping. I am and always have been myself. All of my memories are intact, so the apparent answer would be yes. Good. Now bring her back. My behavior now is in accordance with my will, and I am Elfelt. I don't think we ever Therefore, saw this version pointless. as a playable she character. No, I don't mean this thing. Maybe you've got her memories, but you're definitely something different. Are you suggesting newer memories or experiences are somehow invalid? By that logic, no person would remain the same individual from moment to moment. At the very least, I can assure you that biologically speaking, I am the only Elfelt. I already know that, you idiot. If we're gonna go by your logic that we can't draw lines anywhere, then there's no difference between Earth and space. Without a clear boundary, I see no problem with that worldview. But there is a line. It's just a hard one to draw. 
There's a line in you too, and on one side of it is the person we know is Elfelt. All right, guys, your homework for today is to find out where the line between Earth and space is. Your words poison my mind. Mother's orders prevent me from destroying you. But I must ask you to be quiet for a while. Right. Reign of judgment! Strasphere is your first guess? I guess, like... It would make sense that the end of the atmosphere is the end of Earth, like... I... I would argue that... Orbit is where Earth ends, because that's when Earth's gravity... ...is, like, in balance, right? Well, this is probably as good a time as any. Although I have to admit, a part of me wants to Well, I guess orbit depends awakening. on But I suppose it's still a what bit too is. soon. What it is. So, that's a hard line to, to draw. Him, though. Definitely. Well, I'll get started on the next phase then. <laughs> Cuz I, I I was thinking along the lines of like the the International Space Station, but No, the God fucking damn it. Soul Soul was right. It's a really hard line to draw. All we judge books by today. If they are shiny or not. Every page inside is I, I think the atmosphere is the best way to go for the end of Earth. No one's gonna see them out again. Oh, please don't wait for me, darling. Stay out of the cold rain. There's no point in trying. This is absolute defense, Felion. You can't break through. Shut up! Stop it! You should know better than anybody else. This is pointless! Me? What the hell do I know? All I'm trying to hit is one of those memories you seem to have forgotten. A memory? Huh. You really know how to get on my nerves, don't you? Nobody tells me something's impossible. When I tried to go into the backyard after justice, you stopped me. Now I figure that was part of your plan. But the reason you gave me is something about how people shouldn't be alone. If that's not a lie, prove it to me! I'd love nothing more than to do all these What? Her emotions? With those teeth oh. fits really well, yeah. Are you back? I'm sorry, but I can't fight Mother's will. No, don't tell me you. I'm sorry. I really, really do love making friends with you. With all of you. And I'm going to prove I wasn't lying. You're not going to self-destruct, are you? This is the only freedom I have left. Goddamn idiot! Don't! Help out you can! If this was how it was going to end, I wish I'd never been given emotions. If this is all they lead to... Why did I have bad feelings anyway? <laughs> huh? Rain? There's our girl, Ran. Emotions are very important. I understand that now. Freedom to choose to die what? over identity erasure is fun? Mother yeah. Is mistaken. 
It's a, I, it's a scary yours. trope, and I think I'd do the same in that situation. One dead puppy to save a life. That's all you need. Actually, fun fact, in uh, in Ram's windscreen in Guilty Gear Str uh, Strive, she has a puppy. She gets, she gets a new puppy. Bunch of touchy feely bullshit. What? What the hell are you standing there for? We gotta go get her back. I'm not losing anybody else. Man, it's a good thing I downloaded the next game. <laughs> Saul's got them teacups you were talking about. So yeah, that was Guilty Gear Exard Sun. We uh we got Exard Revelator coming up now, which finishes off this story. If you cannot stop this pathetic time. Here here's a visual recap of what we just went through. Oh man, Sheriff. Like tons of people voice Walla. Bad Bandicoot wasn't here to uh, catch the end of this. We'll have to give them a recap. Uh, one one small thing about the next game is that. They decided that it was too expensive to get an English voice cast. So it's gonna be all in Japanese. Oh, there's the doggo. Don't make us watch it die again, please. translator at least or is it all in Japanese? The subtitles are in, in English, thankfully enough. If we were playing Kamen Rider Climax Heroes, then that's that's not gonna be in English at all. That that game and uh, another one, Kamen Rider Batch Ride Ward Genesis, is what I use to practice my uh, katakana. Because all the menus are in Japanese, right? But they're in katakana, so if I can sound it out, I know where I'm going. Ah, oh, there's Faust again. Our goofy boy. In the, uh, in the DLC episode that we watched, he was talking about going back to square one. And his Faustness went to heaven, it looked like. So I don't know if Faust is dead, or if his identity died when he went back to square one, but uh, 
Oh boy. He was hanging out with Cronus in the uh, end credits of Guilty Gear Strive, though. So I'm wondering if he's gonna have an episode where he gets his Faustinus back. Has Bink Video's logo ever changed? It looks 90s as fuck. I have lost. Good old Daisuke Ishiwatari. What a chad. And it was all just Bedpan's dream. <clears throat> now here's where Nick Fury recruits Cronus. When in the end, only I survived. The Infinite Sukiyom. Where will you go now, sir? You. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> what could you possibly want to know? The battle is over. Flying is bad for your body, you know. If you're here for atonement or revenge, do whatever you wish. Alone as I am, I can hardly fight back. Ah, do you have a death wish? I would humbly suggest you deal with that on your own time. But before you do, I really must ask some questions. Oh. What do you plan to do with the colony? With the Japanese? The Japanese? What the hell are you talking about? Feigning ignorance? After what you've just been through, I'd have expected a little more forthrightness. No, I swear, I don't know. All I know about the colony is that they give appropriate medical treatment to the Japanese. They make the worst coffee. You, you really don't but know. But they made my Walkman, so I'm okay with that. Those orders came from the highest levels, which would mean there's someone who outranks even you. Who could that be? Someone with more power than us. My name's Joseph Joestar. In 2016, <laughs> well, I made the space exciting. laser that vaporized Japan. It ended well, though. Just as we planned it, and with only a small number of deviations. Are we finally ready to begin creating our absolute world? Yes, and now I must return to my own affairs. Bye-bye. For the third time, humanity faces an invasion from a wholly inhuman enemy. Nonetheless, we took a stand and we prevailed. In the face of the trials God has placed before us, and God did that? He must really hate humanity.
and we did not give in. For this, we must thank our glorious leader. Hey, King Easy. We're just finishing up Guilty Gear Exard and moving on to Revelator. Five months, dang. Two more weeks and you'll be following for half a year. One year, two months, dang. All right. Time to move on to the next half of the story. <laughs> Playing a D&D game right now called... Oh, Neverwinter? Neverwinter is pretty good. I didn't have the time to get into it, but uh, the time that I had was fun. I'm I'm getting real sad about the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy game right now. Cuz uh Oh great. Th thanks for the money game. We're going to watch the story again. But uh Yeah, so Square Enix sold all their western studios. Uh so Crystal Dynamics, IDOS Montreal, and confusingly Square Enix Montreal. Story. Actually, I'm gonna go into the settings really quick. Because the sound's playing through my controller. Uh, is it not gonna let me? Oh, why is the master volume at 18? There, it's it's probably gonna be better. Uh, don't don't need to deal with mom. Ga game version. That's really interesting. So depending on the balance that you like, you can choose between Revelator or Rev Two. All right. Playing a half orc fighter. Ooh. Story. Okay, let's uh let's start a new story mode. Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Okay, give me one sec. Uh, there we go. I'm going to make the screen a little bit smaller so that my logo isn't covering up the subtitles. Because this is all in Japanese, so we're going to be relying on the subtitles a lot character's name is Gru. Is he voiced by Vin Diesel? <laughs> okay. Let's shrink you down. Hmm. I, you know, at this point I wish I didn't go for aesthetics over legibility. How about instead? I do this.
There we go. It's gonna look a bit weird, but we're gonna actually be able to read it. So yeah, Y2K happened, then they were like, hey, here's some magic, and then immediately they were like, great, let's blow people up with it. Justice was blowing ロースの2000。ワンダーシュルラコームズの20th これより全世界に宣戦布告する未来を悲観しろ世界に聞きだ人が人が消えていくなんてことくそ世界に聞きたいあれどうしてエル with no felt help, his team successfully captures Ram, but their mission was far from over. Who was the enemy? What did they want? Ram Lafell refuses to speak. Then Bedman kills her dog. The cradle appears again. Illyria attacks the cradle with everything they have. It didn't do shit. But Zaten figures out the enemy's motive. The resurrection of justice. God of destruction. That's not how you pronounce Beerus. Sin and Ramlethal begin talking. He gives her a dog. Her heart begins to waver. Friends。Friends。仲間は一人一人違いがあって買いも聞かないものだ。違いがあるほうがいい。私はあなたの本当の笑顔が見たいな。エコー。うん。シンが私に笑ってほしいと言った。私が好きなの。疲れてるってこと
Justice is stopped off the coast. The Conclave schemes were unraveling at the seams. Until... I missed the second half of that sentence. Elfelt Valentine awakens. ありがとう。私も。Little do you know that uh, the Guilty Gear universe is a is a Gurren Lagann parallel works. Why are we in Japanese now? They didn't hire an English voice uh, voice cast for this version of the game. They, they told half the story in English, then they decided that it was too expensive to get a, uh, an English voice cast. And then in Guilty Gear Strive, they were like, Hey, we made tons of money from Guilty Gear. Let's get an English voice cast. Oh, here's a drink. And here's an actual water. セレキ、2187年、世界は未知なる存在慈悲なき刑事から旅重なる衝撃を受けていた。そのすべての危機を辛くも乗り越えてきた人類。レッツゴー、カクゴー、ゴッゴッゴッゴッストー、ゴー、
新たな人類を作るという信念だなそれが本当の西欧アリエルスいえ慈悲なき刑事の本心なのねそっけないなエルフェルト実の母親だぞ初めて私を見た態度がそれか And it could have been avoided if they didn't cave to the Japanese soccer moms. Ghost had such a cool vibe, and then tanked. Uh, Kamen Rider Gozizzle, starring Snoop Dogg as Tenkuji Takeru. ちがそんなものにするものかお前はこれから新たな存在へと進化する真実の人類だ感情がなければ人間と同じになってしまうじゃあ、ヒッマックスレベル9 しかし安心しろパスンスキルチェックジャスティスと融合すれば完全な人間となるあとはエネルギーが満ちるのを待つだけだどうして私なの質問ばかりだなラムレザルには適性がなかっただけだおかげで随分と邪魔な存在になってし
character, and then we'll I'll run you guys through the Konosuba Fable Town. It transformed Jigela from Lord El Noi to Waver? Okay. Nice. I still have to get my uh, Tamamo's bond up to five. It's a fast game, and it was one of your quicker play games? Okay. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're playing like two games, uh, two RPGs on the stream. <laughs> レシオで自信なんて。場所はゲンズのスタッフ。レスコの保護だ。近いぞ。近隣に川が池は。そんなの。オッケー。自信マイトの気温差それから墓地や古い物件がないか。だと逆説的だけど屋外に10グラム以上
首が締まるやつだお察しします冗談はさておき確認しておきたいことがあるあのソルバッドガイという男何者なんだと言いますが彼の体にはギアの力が宿っている I don't think I don't think I've ever played a fighter in the game that I played. Because let's see, my my D and D character history has been a druid, a weird homebrew druid that specializes in animals, a pirate, a pathfinder summoner, the homebrew magical girl that. Felix is now turning into an actual class. Uh, a homebrew phantom thief. And a 5e ranger and a 5e bard. Those are, that's all the characters that I played in D&D. Ah, but... I don't have a very big repertoire because the campaigns I play in tend to last like... A long time. <laughs> like, I think the average length of uh, DVD campaigns that I've played has been like a year, maybe a year and a half. I think Fool's Gold was two years, the campaign after Fool's Gold was three. I'll信じるものなら信じることができます。我々は知っておくべきかもしれない。Ah yes, the one piece of gameplay. There we go. I've played the game. I should probably change the, uh, the stream info. He said that we're playing Rev 2. There we go. Oh, snap. I'm only four followers away from 300. That kind of snuck up on me. I wonder if tomorrow's stream is gonna bring more people. We've got like tons of guests coming. Because we got Rob Dag and Dingo uh, and Felix and my friend Sabrina. So that's like, that's an all star cast. I'm actually kind of surprised that Dingo is joining us for this one. I, uh, I feel bad about inviting her to stuff because she's so busy all the time. It's like, hey, I, I'd love to have you on, but uh, I know you're busy. Who's coming? Uh, we've got Robert Hartley, uh, Dreaded GM, Dead Aussie Gamer, Dingo, Felix, and my friend Sabrina. We're going to be doing a stream about world building. So if, if you want to like ask any questions, we have a... I have a section of the Discord for that, or you can like reply to my post on Twitter, uh, or you can just ask during the stream. We're going to be streaming at 7 p.m. Pacific time. So that's like 10 p.m. Eastern, I think. Oh, absolutely, King Easy. I, uh, I'm really lucky to know all these fantastic people. And, uh, yeah, my friend Sabrina's gonna be there, too. 
she i invited her because she has a really interesting campaign setting that revolves around trains and i feel like uh she would have a lot to contribute to the conversation that's not matt mercer Br bring me back my zato one voice by matt please he kind of sounds like Gio, actually. Mm -hmm. Is Zato actually voiced by the same guy as Dio? Give me give me one sec. Takehito Koyasu. Naruhodo. Kaidan no yote o kumu hima monakata wake desu ne? Desu na ari. Fucking yes! I was right! I knew that- I knew it! Zato is voiced by Dio. <laughs> You're allowed to offline raid the stream? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, yeah, if you think that your audience would like, uh, would like to pop in, by all means. Unfortunately, uh, I'm gonna be turning off audio cues for rating. Uh, but I guess the Discord raid won't do it. But, uh, I'll try and be a bit active in the chat so I can show people out, so. I got like, I got six guests, so I'm probably going to be quiet unless I need to direct the conversation. <laughs> Actually, oddly enough, the stream was going to be two hours earlier, but uh, a couple of my guests weren't able to make it for a couple of hours, so we shifted the time. Love hearing you talk about world building for your Sealor. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, I, uh, the, the character stream was really well received, and I was pre I'm pretty sure that world building is the next step after that. I have no idea what the next DM roundtable stream is going to be, though. Because we got characters, we got world building. I guess I'll have to think of a, a topic for the, for the next one after this. I'm glad that we get Dread this time, too. He, uh, he accidentally wasn't able to make it for the uh, character stream. So he was really excited to be on this one. I'm really glad about that. Oh no, someone dropped a kunai. お前が歌川式人間と出会ったら顔を聞いてみろ。どうしました？いえ、その。
past week you've been doing homework and couldn't stream. Today was your first return stream. Your Xbox connection died, so you had to end it early? Aw, man. This stream made you feel a lot better. Oh, I'm glad. I, uh, I hope your connection gets better. I'm, I'm glad that you were able to return to streaming, though. I, uh, I hope you have a chill time going forward. そのような質問。答えるまでもないのでは。失礼いたします。第三連王様から海様に連絡が。お急ぎとのこと。So the th the third king, his name is Daryl, but he doesn't get a last name. There, there are three kings of Illyria, Kai Kisk, which is this guy, uh, Leo Whitefang, which you'll see later, and Daryl. Daryl last name. Since Twitch is still in beta on Xbox? Oh, you're using the native streaming. No, that makes complete sense then. Twitch is gonna work on your Xbox? I can believe it. I, uh, I tried using the native streaming on PlayStation when I was doing uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle. Uh, not All-Star Battle, uh, Eyes of Heaven. And, yeah, it just... It was a gamble whether it would work, and then there would be times where it wouldn't let me record. I just... I... I have a decent enough P uh, PC where I can make a capture card work. So I just, uh, I saved up for a capture card and went for it. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Oh, that guy. Have you gone to the streams now? Yeah. We actually played uh, some Minecraft last night. I remade the, uh, the Wipeout course that Achievement Hunter did way back in 2012. And, uh, yeah, it was a two-hour stream where we were just doing uh, Minecraft Wipeout. Now ranked number 16 on the Hunger Games leaderboard for Bedrock. Nice! Two point one thousand wins? Yo! I mean... <laughs> No one can say that you don't put in the effort, because that's that's huge. Well done. Trying to hit top 10 before June? Ah, best of luck, buddy. Meanwhile, our local Englishman... おい、どうなってる自信、もう Search you up. That's a great way to promote it. You can buy more work on your commentary? Mm -hmm. the, the weirdest thing for me when I started streaming was talking to the air. Like, making sure that I was talking even if chat was dead. For the longest time when I ran a YouTube channel, it was all about bouncing off of other people. Like, I, I always had at least two other people with me. Okay. That's a good way to do it. 
The way I'm going to be trying to promote the stream is uh, I'm going to be making a TikTok where I do a comic dub of the Duang version of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. It's a, it's a version of Jojo that we could... So it was the only version of Jojo Part 4 that we could read for the longest time. It was translated by two Chinese guys for an English class, if I remember correctly. And they failed the English class. So it's it's got a bunch of funny lines like uh you know, get a feeling so complicated or what a beautiful duang or, or when I saw the Mona Lisa I I got a boner it's a it's a really funny version of the comic oh, thank you very much easy. Do I have a TikTok? Not yet. I'm, uh, I'm gonna get a few episodes pre-recorded first so that I have a good base. And then uh, I'm gonna create a TikTok and release them daily so I can stay on the algorithm. I, uh, I wasn't completely sure that the vibe of TikTok would be for me. But it seems kind of inevitable that I'm going to have to make one, so... We'll see if I can get the hang of it. Short-form content is, uh... It's big right now. I, I feel like TikTok is, uh... I, I guess what Vine ended up being. You know, it's a, it's a weird slide digivolution of, of Vine. Oh, thanks, Easy. TikTok's weird. You have one where right now it's not active? No, that's fair. It's a lot of work to keep uh, something on the algorithm for short form content like that. Because you need to be posting every single day. Then there's the whole meta for live streaming on there. Short form content is, uh, isn't your style since your style is chill vibes. Nice PvP skills. Yeah, and that's, I believe, that's a good vibe for Twitch. I do my very best to have like a chill hangout, but uh, I, I am not necessarily good. At the game stuff. Oh, absolutely. That's why, like, for short form content, I'm going a completely different route. Because by doing a comic dub, I just have to post one page every day. Oh, God, I, that fucking face. I need to make the axle face in a moment. Ah, damn it. I didn't catch it in time. Alright, I'm, I'm going to go back into the... Uh, I, I have to make sure that I get this. One minute, uh, sorry, one hour 33. By the next stream, we're going to have Axel as an emote. うん。確かに俺は過去に行って未来を変えたことがある。タイムトリップをしてね。今までは事故みたいなきっかけで時間旅行をしていると思ってたんだけどさ。どうやら違ってたらしい。無意識にコントロールしてたみたいなんだよ
待ちわびたよ千佳はやはり第三連王は実質的な利を重視される方でした I still can't believe I fucking called that Zato's voice actor was also DF. I was going to talk to him about the fact that he was a good actor. I was going to talk to him about the fact that he was a good actor. The JoJo was too strong. I was going to talk to him about the fact that he was a good actor. But this is the case. Ah. I was going to talk to him.民間の兵として参戦できる。一つ目のハードルはクリア。といったところね。情報のパイプと入場券は手に入れた。それから。ベッドマンだよ。彼を打倒する。あなたたち本当に。アサシンが最評価されるためには。分かりやすく目を引く
タイムトリッパーの存在自体がすでに異常なんだよ。なのに、サウルにとって最も危険な存在だったのは、今さらの話だ。本当にタフだね。<笑>俺はもう、この力が発言しないように、毎日怯えてるってのにさ。まあいい。それならもう弱ねえ。だったな。うん、もし。I'm sorry for having me on these guys. I just、uh, have not been sleeping well. What, what would you say if he chose the other timeline? The answer is I wouldn't say anything because I wouldn't exist. モモクナシンカニオルハメツトキトリノエゴニオルハメツドチラガヨリクダラネカフレデリックジョキオアアズラダそうかな残念だギアメーカーであれば何かの答えを持っているかもしれんがなやろうに頼るのはやめろお前があ
Super 17, that was GT, right? I only ever watched GT as a kid, so... I, I barely remember what went on in that. しかし、あのクラスの巨大ギアにまで宿題が始まった。絶対確定世界の予兆も、もうすぐだな。予兆違うよ。これは まだ安定しないのか。これでも時勢は効くようになってきたのよ。この体の本来の持ち主、アリアが大事にしていたことみたい。私もお前も、もうすぐ人生を取り戻すことのできる。もう少しの辛抱だ。そのことだけど、もうソルたちと合流した方が良くない？向こうも会いたがってることだし。あ
So, fun thing about Robokai here. Uh, Kai Kisuke, he wears a belt that says hope. <laughs> and Saul Bad Guy <laughs> wears a belt that says free. Robokai being a, ro a robot version of Kai. But built weird, so he's like trashy. His belt says on <laughs> We're never going to see Robokai again after this game. なんだ貴様は君に頼みたいことがある。仕事の依頼か。じゃあそこから選べ。スーパーハイエレクトロイオロズヤ。A コース。C are you sure you don't need him to walk your dog? ロボだぞ。油とかバネとかネジとかそういうのだろうが。ああ、だが、洗剤と柔軟剤は忘れるな。身だしなみは大事だからな。かつて。I <笑> Meanwhile, at your local library. Kuro no hino de Kuro no hino de Koremonai Mo Naniga or its Toshokan dio Korena Jimoto no Furuhonia no Hoga Mashida. ええ、はい。あの、あなたは覚えてらっしゃいませんか。しつこく先生を追っかけていた。世界一の名医という噂でしたので、もしかしたら僕の特殊な体質を直せるんじゃないかって。ああ、思い出しました。ザッパさんです
Oh no! <laughs> nah, you know what? I I feel bad that you just popped in. So you know what? We'll do one more chapter just for you. I I'm willing to do one last chapter. Don't let the bite. Uh, a lot of times, if somebody pops in just on the end king screen, I'll, uh, I'll do my best to do a little bit more just so that uh, you don't feel left out. So. Hey, no worries. I don't know how long the chapter is going to be, but we'll go until it tells me to save. <laughs> As always, if any of you guys have any questions about any of the characters on screen or any of what's happening, just uh, give me a shout. Romy! Thank you for gifting the sub to New York GM. Uh, give me one sec. When you sub to the channel, you get a piano, dude. So give me one sec. Uh, let's do... What's, uh, what's one that I haven't done in forever? How about... This is gospel for the fallen ones Locked away in permanent slumber Assembling their philosophies From pieces of broken memories Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Their gnashing teeth and criminal tongues conspire against the odds. But they haven't seen the best of us yet. If you love me, let me go. are knives that often leave scars the fear of falling god i always mess up on that part because these words are knives that often leave no nope. if you love me let me go if you love me let me go are knives that often leave scars yeah this is where that's the part that I get messed up because it's See, that's why I don't do this one very often, right? I, I mess up on the chorus. Okay, so it would go... 
If you love me, let me go. If you love me, let me go. Because these... I'm going to finish this, because I promised I would. If you love me, let me go. If you love me, let me go. Because these words are knives that often leave scars. The fear of falling apart. Truth be told, I never was yours. The fear, the fear. Falling apart. There it is. God. Okay. Thank you very much, Romy the Lion. For the sub. It was a very well earned piano too. I worked for it. <laughs> oh, hey, no worries. My, uh, my friend Tom on Twitch, whenever somebody subs, he does a kazoo. And I really, really like that, because it kind of makes subscribing feel a bit more special, right? And, uh, I figure it's a great way to practice piano whenever someone subs to just play a song on it. Sometimes it's a short one, like, you know, Golden Wind from JoJo, or, uh, Segi Shiko from One Punch Man. But, uh, if I'm really feeling it, I'll, uh, I'll do something a bit longer to practice. いいタイミングだ。いや、悪いのかもしれないが。あ、thanks Okay, so yeah, uh, in the Guilty Gear universe, back in 2016, uh, a scientist was creating an alternate life form using magic, and it didn't go well, and it was gonna, like, some bad stuff was gonna happen. He was summoning it over Japan, and he had to figure out how to not let it, like, destroy everything. So... He nukes Japan with a space laser, and the only Japanese people left were the people who were abroad. And that's why all the Japanese people have a special colony, because their, their country is gone, <laughs> and has been for over a hundred years now. Oh, thank you so much, Romy. I, uh, I picked up piano during the plague. I, uh, I also have one of these. I also have a strat, but, uh, it's broken. I, uh, I started learning that earlier this year. My, uh, my goal as an entertainer, I want to, I want to get into voiceover, but I want to be a bit of an all-rounder. Because, uh, one of the games that I like, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE, didn't get an English localization. And that's partially because a lot of English voiceover artists weren't able to do the singing portions of that game. So because of that, I, uh, you know, I want to be able to play instruments, and I want to be able to sing, and I want to be able to act, so that I can uh, fill that niche. King Easy has returned! Mm. あれはもう手に入らなくなってしまったからな。日本語。ごめん、それロシア製なんだ。ああ、いい。こちらの話だ。ありがたく頂戴しよう。So this this guy Kumi Hayun. 僕ね、今まで海外で海賊団のみんなと毎日楽しく過ごしてたから。Yeah, I see a soda left in that. 
なんかピンとこなくてさ Ah, uh, no worries. We're gonna we're gonna be finishing this chapter and uh, ending as well. After that. Oh man, I appreciate it, King Easy. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It's a uh, it's crazy the the journey I've taken here. Oh man, Kai with glasses is just Glasses make people really cute. Uh, there is an option in Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp FE where you can give the main character glasses at the start of the game, but it's a permanent one. It's, it's like an option that you choose at the beginning. America has decided to be the worst. No, I, I have seen that. I've seen why it's the worst timeline, and it, it sucks. Oh, thanks, RDF. And hey, no worries about keeping me up. It's it's only like 11 p.m. right now. I just, uh, I want to get some laundry done and, uh, some stuff like that before going to bed, but it can wait until tomorrow. I got clothes. Oh man, I did a cover of this song. Let's play it right now. Oh, it's not just Florida or Texas for this one. It is more general than that. コーヒーらしい。私は飲まないが、格好をつけるために置いてある。悪くねえアイデアだ。中身が減りゃ、もっとかっこがつく。そうだ。お前だってこんなささいなことで申し訳ない。私の役目はこの酒を。もう一度
ほんの数日前まで人類の敵だったのだからだまだそんなこと言ってんのか私がエルと同じ母さんの娘である事実は変わらないただしく理解されるにはラムはかかるそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそれはそそしたらさ、親父に気絶するほど殴られた。でも、最後はいじめがやりすぎだって、止めてくれたんだ。で、親父はなんて言ったと思うだから苦情が出ないってさ、次の瞬間、親父は連中もボコボコに。いや、それはどうなのっていう話なんだけど、なんていうかさ、その後、そいつらとは仲良くなれたんだ。Oh, no. I, I だけは簡単だった。お互いボロボロになった姿を見て。<laughs> okay, there we go. Assuming office to be decided. Surprisingly amazing, uh, amazing beauty filter. You are completely correct with that. What does she must so? She don't know, call for cool take his little cotto and Mazakashi. What does she what happen? Ima, she was in under. Demo, Konomado knew to do what does she go around you? Yeah, essentially overturning model. Roe v. Wade at this point in time is a catalyst for a lot of crappy things to happen. And it's a, a solution that's being proposed is to double the seats on the Supreme Court in order to prevent something like this from happening. But also, the current administration promised to write it into law day one, and they never did. God, look at that dress! Like, God, the white, black, and green just works so well with her. Saul doesn't like doors. Why? <laughs> <laughs> It, it really feels like that was the platform. They buried the bar, which meant that, like, even if the guy that they chose was standing on the ground, it would it would still be better than the last guy. Oh wow, Saul doesn't like the window. <laughs> What I really like uh, is the combination of uh, a skirt and bike shorts. Because it's the combination of fashion and practicality that I absolutely love. People you fought against didn't care about breaking the rules? Yeah, it's... U.S. politics is weird. Okay. However, I promised one more chapter. Oh, wait, that was just part A. Okay, never mind. Sorry, we, we did half of a chapter. Let's do the other half. For ballroom and Latin dance? Yeah. 
when uh when I was designing Arena, was... one thing that I wanted okay. to stress was practicality and still looking good. That's why uh like in, in terms of attire for combat, uh the one piece that she wears is, is fantastic because you don't have to worry about anything slipping off everything is secure uh she's got a belt that's holding everything together it's okay if i want no i i don't want to leave on half of a chapter it's uh it's gonna be really awkward for the next stream if i if it's like by the way we're doing part b <laughs> You can be cute and effective, exactly. Well, and I want to reverse the trope of uh, the, the magical girl panty dance into like the, the skimpier yeah. outfit. Like, as much as I like Sailor Moon, and Sailor Moon's like, it was revolutionary. I, I really respect what Sailor Moon did for the medium as a whole. But, like, doing the magical girl dance into a more complex costume, I thought it would be really, really fun. Player used belts. It's super effective. Huh? それもわからず元老院は利用されたとか言ってたんですかお前本当に勘だけだな。あ、許せない。え、他にはないか。今は元老院より、ジェネラス刑事の動機の方が重要だ。I yeah. I started thinking carefully about Arena. Probably around halfway through the campaign when things started ramping up. Like around the Tarask arc is when we started kind of getting our characters a bit more. And I decided like I wanted to break as many anime tropes as I, I used. And I think I was decently effective in that. Did I ever watch the Nan? I don't think so, no. no. Give me one sec, I'm just gonna look it up. No, I don't think I've even ever seen this. きこ。きこか。どうやって。いや、ですね。フェミリアルだ。ハピネス27歳って確か現世を。いや。いつかきっとみんなが言うと、数奇教に入れ張ってきたやつじゃないのか。そうですが。アラウンドトラスカー、
So Slayer here is a super old vampire. He, uh, he's so powerful that if he loses, he just sort of... He takes it in stride because he wasn't really trying. If he actually tries, he could, like, level a city block. Possibly even an entire, like, city. <laughs> That's why in the, they're in the uh, the wasteland district. I'm sure Piccolo is here. The barbarian wizard with frying pan weapon. Did somebody make Rapunzel from Tangle? Loves the cast. God damn it. You get an Aruto for that. Only enemy you've watched is Seven Deadly Sins, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Demachi, and Grimoire of Zero, all dubbed. Nah, that's fair. I mean, you get access to the anime that you can, and at the same time, you know, not all of it is easy to watch, right? It's, a, it's interesting, because despite anime and manga being mainstream, it's very much something that is enjoyed by a bunch of people. I've, uh, I've really slowed down on anime myself. I think the last one that I watched in full was Dragon Goes Ghost But even then, like... I've, I've maybe watched, like, two anime in all of 2021. There's so many tries with that. Ah, that's fair. I, uh, my favorite season of Yu-Gi-Oh! was GX because of how dumb it was. Like, my favorite story to tell is about the guy who couldn't get brainwashed by the cult because he had dino DNA from a fossil that was implanted in his leg during a dinosaur dig. That, it's, it's absolutely crazy, and I love it. Ban is the best part of that piece. Oh, yeah. I actually, I should re-watch five, uh, sorry, five Ds again. Because I remember the first season being really, really good. Yeah, I don't think I ever watched Seven Deadly Sins, uh, Genmaji, or Grimoire of Zero, so you got some knowledge up on me. One of my, uh, favorite anime from the last little bit, it came out in 2019, it was called Welcome to Demon School, Irumakun. And it was a story of a kid who was abused by his parents and forced to not go to school, but to work various jobs to support their lifestyle. Uh, and then they sold him to a demon. Uh, and the demon took him to hell, and he wanted a grandson, so he pampered Yiruma, and then sent him to school with demons. But the demons all, they, they have a school song about eating humans, so he has to keep his, uh, his status, like, down low. <laughs> it's a, it's a really wholesome show. I highly recommend it. The Bam Bam poster? Yes. Yeah, that's a... I think my favorite celebrity that I've been able to meet in person so far was uh, Nathan Fillion. Uh, I was able to meet him because when when Dingo, Felix, Avery, and I went to the Calgary Expo, 
back in, I want to say 2013, uh, Avery wanted to go see Nathan Fillion, and I went with her so I could take a photo for them. So we stand in line, we get to Nathan, she says hi, gets an autograph, I take a picture, and then Nathan's like, hey, how you get, uh, how you doing? And I'm like, oh, I'm doing fine, you know, I'm just the guy with the camera, so I'll let you go and take the next person, you know, and Nathan's like, no, I want to meet you. I'm Nathan Fillion. Oh, my mic's too soft? Okay. Uh, hopefully that's better. But yeah, so he's like, no, I, I want to meet you. Hi, I'm Nathan Fillion. And I'm like, oh, oh. hi, my name's Carson. <laughs> I shook his hand. And, and we chatted about stuff for a second and... I think that was the best celebrity interaction I've ever had. I also got to say hi to Markiplier. Markiplier was pretty wholesome, too. Yes, that's right. Is he? <laughs> Sneezes I got to yeah. <laughs> Yes, but he said pass to Matt Pat's weird amalgamation, so I think I can forgive him. I mean, Pokemon Smash and Pass is a trap. Yeah, I'm a... I don't know. I count myself really, really lucky that my biggest talent is getting to know people. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but like... I end up meeting a lot of people, you know, just by happenstance. Like my, my 3D animation teacher was one of the animators on Into the Spider-Verse. And I believe he's working on the, uh, the sequel as well. And my 2D animation teacher, she had to leave because she got a job on My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Is a slippery slope to becoming a furry? <laughs> now that's that's absolutely fair. Japanese. <laughs> Being an illustration for a while, I've always been, like, adjacent to the furry fandom. I, uh... It's not like I actively participated, uh, participate in it, but, like... I've interacted with it quite a bit. I I have a character now, I guess, with uh, my Kitsune Phantom Thief, so... You're a furry, so assume me? Nah, that's... Really? I couldn't tell! Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there really isn't a line to the furry fandom, right? Like, you... It's defined on a personal basis. Like, I cannot deny that Lola Bunny is cute as fuck. To some people, that would mean that I'm a furry. To others, that's just a natural response. So I have no idea. <laughs> you know why it's a slippery slope? <laughs> and then there's the, like, the line, like, is the furry fandom just a general interest in anthropomorphic characters? If that's the case, then yeah, sure, why not? I, I would say that I fit that standard, but at the same time, you know, that's not necessarily everyone's standard, so I have no idea. 
to find where, like, where the Earth ends and space begins. Like, it, it's a weird thought, but, like, how do you define if somebody is in any specific fandom? And how much of it is, like, importance to your identity, right? Because I feel like with the furry fandom, it's like... Usually just a, a big part of who they interact with. And, like, who you... Like, like what kind of stuff that you associate with or enjoy. That being said, I have never met a more welcoming community. The furry fandom is like the chillest community that I've found. Just an appreciation for the anthropomorphic is just that. Being a furry is where you get a sona. No, that's fair. And then at that point, like, is having a furry character the same as having a Sona, you know? I have Phantom Thief Luna, who's a Kitsune Phantom Thief. I, I think the big thing that I find is I don't know where I stand on it. Ah, there's Eno. I've been meaning to draw Arena as Eno for the longest time. He'd fall asleep soon, and sitting up is not helping. Doom 2 at showers ago? Oh boy. An idealized version of themselves definitely is so for me. I think that's great. If anything, I, I think it's a good way to sort of find out who you are by creating a Sona that's an idealized version of yourself. I, I feel like if they used that in therapy, there would be a lot of breakthroughs. Oh, absolutely. I got I got to show you uh Guilty Gear Strive Eno cuz Strive Eno is an arena vibe. God, this whole furry discussion is just me sliding into becoming Dan Avidan. My, my entire 20s have been Dan's uh, Game Grumps arc for character development. There it is. Open image in <laughs> Probably why there's no overlap. Yeah. Oh, this is a good song too. Nothing changed by Nothing changes anyway. Only time That's just the way how it is. Someone must be thinking so. God, this is such a good song. 
Uh, a lot of similar veins with questioning gender identity. It makes you look at your body and question things about yourself and if you're comfortable with the identity you have. Probably why there's an overlap. Yeah. Uh, fandom helps you with finding your gender identity. You find some actual affirmations to your sexuality. There's definitely problems. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, gender... Yeah, again, like, every everything has a bad side to it. It's unavoidable. That's just how the world works. But, like... I would absolutely say that the furry fandom is the most welcoming community that I've seen on the internet. Exactly. I think that's why I tend to stay away from fandom in general. Uh, made you realize he had body dysmorphia, but helped a lot with gender? Mm. But, like, God, ha having that avenue for discovering yourself like that is one thing that I absolutely love about the process of creating a Sona, right? I have the incredible boon of being able to... Like, like, being incredibly comfortable with myself, right? Like, I feel like despite anything, I will always be Carson. And I am incredibly happy with myself. And that self-confidence is probably why, like, I'm really apathetic about sexuality and gender. Because it's like, you know, it, it's not the strongest part of my identity, because even if it were different, I'd still be me. If I were in a different body, I'd still be me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Organizing a sex party and using a cancer charity as an excuse. Jeez. Yeah, CSI didn't help. I mean, the, the entire fandom's been done dirty by popular media in general. But the fact that it hasn't been broken by it is just outstanding. Can be applied to every large group because every large group has some. Absolutely. Nah. The the internet has just been a blessing and a curse. And I think that the blessings outweigh the curses. The fact that like-minded individuals can help affirm each other and grow on an international scale is just incredible. I, uh... I mean, I wouldn't have met any of you guys if it weren't for the interconnectivity that we have. But, we finished the chapter. So, I will see you guys tomorrow for the As a Player world building stream. Uh, we're gonna go probably pretty late. It, uh, it took a while. Who are we raiding? Uh, my friend Angel's streaming, but he's probably winding down by now. Uh, Tom's playing Fallout New Vegas, but he has like 300 viewers right now, so... I can take suggestions if you guys have any. Yeah, I feel bad about uh, not being able to raid Pharaoh. He was playing a Prehistoric Kingdom. Oh, you're welcome, Romy. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, what's under my recommended. Yeah, absolutely. 
Solus the Wolf. All right, we'll go raid Solus the Wolf. Uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow for the As a Player World Building stream. Or if you can't make that, I'll be streaming Guardians of the Galaxy at noon uh, on Wednesday. Noon Pacific, I should say. Uh, so give Solus a big old shark attack for me. Uh, and I'll catch you later. See ya!